revitalizing the spirit, restoring our community. Urban Family Talk. All right, Abe, this uh, uh, Bill 1523. Yes. Protecting Religious Freedom in Mississippi. So I tried to discuss it and tried to um, handle the nuances of it. Mm -hmm. But, man, really, it's one of those times where I go, man, I need an Abe. Like, where's Abe? Because I know (laughs) that there are questions that people have about this, and you've made this your business to understand uh, the intricacies of this. One of the questions, and I want to say this because Joanne in our chairman asked me if I had seen what um, Ellen DeGeneres was saying about the bill. (laughs) And one of the things, there's a lot of fear mongering, of course, and people know Ellen, Mm -hmm. right? So I went uh, during the break to kind of look it up to see what exactly Ellen was saying. And she talked about this bill um, paving the way for discrimination. She (laughs) talked about... um, people being rejected mm. um, or refused housing and all of those things. Not true. And that is not true. No. And even as I read the bill, but then you understand the federal protections yes. that we have as citizens, right? Yes. So help us to make sense of this. All baby. right. So let me <clears throat> try, try to provide some background for this. And see, this is why we need Christians who on fire Christians in every discipline in life. Mm-hmm. This bill was that the results actually of the Obergefell decision rendered by the United States Supreme Court last summer. Mm-hmm. If anybody was paying attention to that, which I know most people paid attention to the results, but they didn't pay attention to the process. Mm-hmm. During the oral arguments before the United States Supreme Court, the Solicitor General representing the o- President Obama's administration arguing in favor of homosexual marriage being made legal uh, nation- nationwide Um, And let me say this as an aside. In order to do that, the Supreme Court had to overturn the will of the American people as expressed in over 31 states. Yeah. Over 31 states had passed either constitutional amendments or legislative action to define marriage as it is defined biblically. Mm. Mm. But the United States Supreme Court overturned that ultimately. During the exchange in the oral arguments, United States Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito Mm -hmm. asked the Solicitor General, who was advocating for homosexual marriage, on behalf of President Obama, Mm -hmm. he asked him, should the court do what you're asking us to do and accept homosexual marriage nationally, would that not put the court's ruling on marriage on a collision course with the First Amendment and free Mm -hmm. exercise of religion? Mm -hmm. The Solicitor Mm -hmm. General, in a moment of candor, said, you got me. Yeah, you're right. There's really no way for this to be made law and or uh, to be uh, approached as if it is law without putting religious freedoms squarely in the crosshairs. Mm -hmm. And the Solicitor General then said, but the intersection of religious uh, freedom and uh, the homosexual marriage ruling must be worked out on the state level. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. the Mm -hmm. state of Mississippi Mm -hmm. then says, we hear you, Supreme Mm -hmm. Court, Mm -hmm. got you. So Mm -hmm. we are going to deal with it on a state level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in House Bill 1523 that really isn't already provided for in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because the courts primarily are encroaching upon the free exercise of religion in the First Amendment, states are having to go the additional mile to protect its citizens' free exercise of their religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The goal of the bill... And now the effectiveness of the bill is to prevent in Mississippi what has already occurred in Atlanta, Georgia, what mm-hmm. is already with with uh, former fire chief Kelvin Cochran. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, which has occurred in um, Oregon with Aaron and Melissa Klein, mm-hmm. yeah. which has occurred mm-hmm. in Washington State with Baronel Stutzman, mm-hmm. which has yeah. occurred in other. I mean, I can let, rattle off about 25 cases. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm sorry, Ellen DeGeneres. Right. Um, and, and in the case of Baronel Stutzman, in other cases, the clients as well, it's not as if that they were that, that these uh, that Baronel Stutzman was like, oh no, you know, we hate homosexuals. Right. The people homosexual were her friends. Cooties. Right, that's right, right. Yes, right. that's so important and to know. She gave them a list, mm-hmm. a two and a half page list mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. other individuals who would be more than willing to mm-hmm. serve the the homosexual couples request to have their wedding celebrated so Mm -hmm. what would you say because i heard you know i was talking with someone and they were saying that uh some of it don't make sense for mississippi because there's a refer law already here Mm -hmm. that protected all of that stuff anyway Uh Uh, you're gonna understand like some of those other places but here why was it necessary because it's starting to look like just a a bill against yeah. homosexuals. Yeah, and I would say that's not the case. And in fact, okay. this was a part of the original RIFRA in Mississippi. Okay. This was what the state of Mississippi already wanted to pass. 
but through the legislative process as part of this was amended out. So uh-huh. the state of Mississippi wanted to complete its processes and to provide a complete protection, which includes the biblical, or should I say, the, the definition of sex as being fixed at the biological birth determination. Right. So this wasn't right. covered. No. So that, can that, you tell us yeah. real quick what a RIFRA law yeah, is? Yes, the RIFRA is an acronym for Religious Freedom Restoration Act, okay. which is a federal uh, act, which, by the way, that President Obama <laughs> Supported in Chicago that Bill mm-hmm. Clinton supported when he was a president. Mm-hmm. Um, however, what RIFRA did, what RIFRA did, it reestablished, and this is going to get into the weeds legally, it reestablished the strict scrutiny analysis for religious expression. Now, I know a lot of people don't understand what that means, but let me just explain it succinctly. Okay. It basically said if, if the government was going to encroach on, on religion, then the government would have to prove that, um, that the encroachment upon religion was narrowly tailored to its specific means and that it accomplished this means by the least restrictive means possible. Okay. Now, the problem with that, though, is that we don't have a Supreme Court that mm-hmm. is neutral and detached magistrates. Right. We have activists right. in black dresses on yeah. the bench. Yeah. So the, the Mississippi legislators foresaw that they could see a circumstance where the United States Supreme Court, wink, wink, obviously mm-hmm. nobody's going to be surprised by this, would say, well, you know what? If Mississippi's government wants to make Mississippians uh, bow down and to celebrate homosexual marriage against their will, the Supreme Court will find a way to support that. Mm. So it wanted to put another layer of protection, another layer of protection for Mississippians mm. in addition to RIFRA gotcha. in place. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. So it's to try to take this whole discussion out of the realm of the Supreme Court's sole jurisdiction and to bring it back to the states following the admission by the United States Solicitor General during the Obergefell uh, oral arguments. Gotcha. Mm. Hmm. Okay, now let me ask this. Two things here. Um, for the Christian, I think the weight is on us to be able to not only defend the bill, you know, but to understand why it's necessary for us, you know, to understand why we need to have these protections. I think so many people just don't understand it. But at the same time, we're trying to navigate the confusion that's out there. So let me quote Ellen DeGeneres. Let me say <laughs> what she said. And then um, I know we're going to break here, so maybe you can get started. So in addressing her her um, studio audience, you know, she talked about what happened in Mississippi. And she said, quote here, um, she said, it might sound good because the word freedom is in it. Right. And she mm-hmm. but she clarified, she said the bill actually allows for um, certain privileges, including marriage, adoption and foster care to be denied to gay people. She added that businesses could also fire or refuse to hire individuals and property owners could decline to rent or sell property based on sexual orientation. Man, that's, that's fear mongering at its finest. That's like, an exact that's, lie. Ac- it, an absolute lie. There is okay. a, a federal legislation that prohibits housing discrimination. Come mm-hmm. on. Exactly Absolute, right. And, and you have to understand that uh, a law is not the law. Okay, Mm -hmm. a law to protect an aspect of freedom is not does not nullify all the rest of the banks of laws. Mm -hmm. Nobody can be prohibited from being sold a house or rented a house based on their sexual orientation under the Fair Housing Act. Under the Fair Housing Act. Yes, we yes, and those so nobody's laws or nobody's rights have been taken away from them. No, nobody's rights have been taken away at all. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has occurred is that those who believe. That marriage is the exclusive lifelong union of one man and one woman. Mm-hmm. Those who believe that sex is fixed at birth by a biological determination, mm-hmm. and they express that, they are protected from being persecuted by their government for having that belief. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all the law does. And to her assertion that homosexuals will be prohibited um, from adopting children, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. That is a lie. Mm-hmm. What this mm-hmm. bill does is those adoption agencies who, are who, who believe are... that God has commissioned them mm-hmm. through ministerial endeavors mm-hmm. to oh, place children good. in homes where they will be served mm-hmm. with the purposes of God. They cannot be compelled to, do to so. adopt yeah. children to those who would That's subvert so their mission. Yeah. There is a so distinction important. that Ellen yes. doesn't want to acknowledge, nor does the power that power that be in our culture want to acknowledge mm-hmm. that there are people who believe God ordains them to do their work. Yeah, that's right. Revitalizing the spirit, restoring our community, urban family talk.